Like I said, Friday the 13th is my lucky day. Scott Schellenberger is supposed to be here. All right. This is a, uh, a meeting. All right. Senator, sir, Senator Huff, could you please tell him what this is about? This is our gang task force meeting today. So we're, we're meeting and we're discussing the gang statutes in Maryland. Gang statutes? Yep. All right, in Maryland. Maryland. Maryland has a gang statute right now dealing with uh, uh, when you're accused of a crime and you're involved with a gang, and we're reviewing whether those are good or bad or how we can strengthen them and what to do about gangs in Maryland. Gangs in Maryland. Yep. All right. That's it. Gangs in Maryland, right? What classifies it as a gang? What's the classification of a gang? Right now, I'll tell you what, if you go up to this guy up there, he's got a copy of the law and everything, he'll show it to you. <laughs> I just want to know if you can rattle it off. I can't rattle off the top of my head. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. I was so told to come here to, for somebody to tell me the classification of a gang. The classification of a gang? Yeah, what qualifies me as being a gang? Well, let's see what the current law says. Two or more in a criminal enterprise? Uh, yes. Yeah. Section 9801 of criminal law article, criminal gang means a group or association of three or more persons whose members individually or collectively engage in a pattern of criminal gang activity, have as one of their primary objectives or activities the commission of one or more underlying crimes, including acts by juveniles that would be underlying crimes if committed by adults, and three, have in common an overt or covert organizational or command structure. All right. Is, is race in there? No. Is um, does it classify you as if it was a, a street criminal enterprise, a government criminal enterprise? Is there any classification in there? Say if I had three or four senators and they were writing laws and getting paid off of this, would that classify as a criminal enterprise? No. So that's one of the things we're looking at, though, is in the federal system they have a RICO statute. Does that work? In a, in a RICO statute, yeah, a RICO statute at the federal level, they can basically make any uh, entity a gang or classify them as a criminal <coughs> structure. So All right. what you could do is, yes, so for example, in the case of um, some of the correctional units that we had that were corrupt here where the, the guards were part of a criminal enterprise, so they made like the whole Eastern uh, ECI, or, or um, for example, they dubbed the whole ECI facility, which is the jail out in the Eastern Shore, uh, as a criminal gang enterprise or criminal enterprise. So the guards, the government, everybody was involved in it. And so they can basically go after them all in a RICO que statute. Question, you've been knowing me for about six to eight years, correct? Yeah. I've testified in front of the House Judiciary Committee about Senate Bill 374 accessing the grand jury, correct? Yes. All right. Now, is I don't a, remember the bill. Is, I know you've been in front of us a lot. All right. As far as the criminal enterprise, um, are you familiar with Operation Grey Lord in Chicago? All right, Operation Grey Lord in Chicago, it was a federal investigation about judges, lawyers, and politicians behind the RICO Act that you're talking about, all right? And what it is is they caught judges and lawyers that was getting paid to lock up minorities and underclass. Would that same RICO Act apply here if we were having this discussion to apply to some of the politicians, well, we judges, and lawyers? A, we, don't have a, uh, we don't have a RICO statute in Maryland right now. It's only the federal level, so that's one of the things we're looking at. All right, thank you. No problem. All right, on February the 6th, 2011, I turned Scott Schellenberger in to, to Greg Bernstein. I blew the whistle on the corruption in the court. The same way he's talking about a gang activity and a RICO Act, I did it to the judges, lawyers, and politicians in Baltimore County. Scott Schellenberger, Sheriff Johnson, Governor O'Malley. It was about the war on drugs and stopping frisking the money they was making off of that. You feel me? Being black in Baltimore. So the same way that they doing them, I'm a, the same laws that you want, I want the same laws to apply to white people. I want to see if y'all go to jail the same way that y'all quick to send us to jail. A gang is clarified as three or more people that conspire. That's more than three people. That's Scott Schellenberger, that's Judge Turnbull, Governor O'Malley, Sheriff, I mean, Chief Johnson. Yeah, Johnny Oleski asked for a federal investigation. And Governor Hogan got all of this. Like I said, my paperwork in order. We're going to level up. You feel me? We're going to level up. We're going to talk about all of this. All right?
We don't want no problems, no misunderstandings. It's about the war on drugs and this task force. It's my Goliath moment. David versus Goliath. But I hope Schellenberger show up.